This is problem 24 in the chapter 6 review. This is an addition of fractions. Now remember, as in the good old days when fractions were much simpler, to add and subtract fractions is when we have to have the same denominator. So the first thing we have to do is we have to factor these denominators so that we can determine what the common denominator should be for this problem. So we'll factor those two trinomials and then construct our common denominator. A minus and a plus here means we have two minuses in the binomials. And three times five would give us the 15 we have here, and minus 5x minus 3x more is minus 8x under the O and the I of FOIL. Now, I would hope that one of these two binomials was also a factor here. It wouldn't have to be, but I would hope that it was so that it makes my common denominator a little less complicated. And I can see that a 3 could be used with the 6. A minus 3 times a plus 2 could make the minus 6. And plus 2x minus 3x would make minus 1x under the O and the I of FOIL. Now, when we construct our common denominator for fractions like this, the common denominator must contain all of the factors that the two denominators contain together when we combine them together. So x minus 3, x minus 5 two binomials must be factors of the common denominator because they are factors of this denominator. X minus 3 I've already accounted for. It only occurred one time in each denominator, so it only has to occur once in the least common denominator. X plus 2 is a factor in this denominator, so it must be included as a factor in the common denominator. We've now constructed our common denominator. Now we have to build these fractions up. This fraction is missing the factor of x plus 2 when I compare the denominator to the common denominator. So I must include x plus 2 as a factor here. And I have to multiply the numerator and denominator by that quantity so that I'm actually multiplying just by 1. Multiplying a fraction by 1 doesn't change the fraction's value. It's going to change the fraction's appearance, but not value. So this becomes x plus 2 multiplied times x minus 3. Now, don't cancel the x plus 2s, as is sometimes what I see students do. That would simply get you back to the original fraction, which wouldn't help you in terms of adding the fractions. Now, what factor is missing here? compared to the common denominator's factors. It's the factor of x minus 5. So x minus 5 is the factor that I have to multiply times the numerator and denominator of this fraction to build the fraction up so that it has the common denominator. Again, don't cancel the x minus 5s, or you'll be right back to what you started with, which won't help you in terms of solving the problem, in terms of adding those fractions. Now we have to perform the multiplications before we can perform the addition of the fractions. Now that we have the same denominator, we'll want to add the numerators, but we can't do that until we perform those multiplications, which requires FOIL. Multiplying those binomials with FOIL is going to give me x squared minus 3x plus 2x is minus 1x. Plus 2 minus 3 is minus 6. Multiplying these two 
binomials with FOIL. X times X is X squared. Minus 5X plus 2X is minus 3X. When I do the O and the I of FOIL, plus 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. Now we can add those two numerators and put the answer over the common denominator. x squared plus x squared gives us 2x squared. Minus 1x plus minus 3x, that's minus 4x. Minus 6 plus minus 10 is minus 16. Now we would need to see if there's any simplification we can do, any reducing we can do once we have our answer. And that's going to require us to factor this trinomial if possible. Well, one thing you should be able to recognize, there's a common factor of 2 in every one of those terms. So let's factor out that 2 first. And then we'll see if there's any factoring we can do of this trinomial that's resulted from factoring out the common factor of 2. Now, it would be nice if one of these binomials was a factor of that trinomial. I think the x plus 2 has a possibility to be one of the factors. That would have to be a minus 4 to multiply times the plus 2 that would give me minus 8. And would the O and the I of FOIL combine to minus 2x? Well, this would be plus 2x minus 4x, which is minus 2x. And now those terms cancel to 1, and we are left with 2 times the binomial x minus 4 over x minus 3 times x minus 5. This is our answer to the addition of those two fractions. It is not necessary to multiply through by the 2 if you, you can if you want, and it's not necessary to multiply the binomials to form a trinomial. You can if you want, but it's not necessary.